in ancient times structures and even aircrafts were built with no much planning in regard to its efficiency and cost consider the two images shown on your screen one is the ancient greek temple and the other is a modern structure you can see the amount of materials that has gone in each of it and thereby the cost ancient temples in greece and also india have had massive columns with an overall massive structure which was uneconomical and lot of material was used for the construction similarly if you make a comparison of aircrafts of ancient times to the present aircrafts there is a huge disparity in terms of the materials used for its fabrication passenger capacity and thereby fuel efficiency in 1914 the first airlines that took off for its first demonstration had 16 passengers on board if a comparison is made with the current passenger aircrafts their passenger carrying capacity may be around 800 what led to this transformation it could be the change in the materials used for the fabrication of aircrafts to cater to improvement in passenger capacity or increased fuel efficiency the material and their geometric properties were modified time and again to improvise the strength which has also helped us to push the frontiers to stratosphere and beyond space in all of these context study of different material properties is of paramount importance this is the core concept around which we would be exploring different topics what will you be learning in the course by the end of this course you will be in a position to analyze the properties of the material and ass assess their responses to different types of loading conditions the knowledge of bending moment and shear force diagram will find its application in subjects like analysis of determinate structures and indeterminate structures reinforced cement concrete steel structures and even geotechnical engineering you will learn about the concepts of stress strain the various moduli of elasticity under normal conditions of loading and under compound conditions of loading stress is generated due to temperature rise and tightening of bolts and nuts is also estimated further stress is due to the fluid pressure in thin and thick cylinders are also evaluated the basic concept of shearing bending deflection in beams are represented in the form of bending moment diagram shear force diagram and also deflection diagrams during this course we will also solve a lot of numericals and also apply the knowledge on real time problems the course will find its relevance with regards to academics where some forms the fundamental topic in civil engineering and mechanical engineering most subjects are based on the fundamentals of what one learns in some even the most competitive exams and the other exams are more related to asking questions on strength of materials so therefore it is very important to learn strength of materials regarding the industry relevance design of every component of a building structure or a mechanical component needs the knowledge of strength of materials knowing the properties of materials or their nature it will be possible to predict their behavior under different types of loading the geometric conditions and the material properties have an important bearing on the strength of the material the knowledge of this subject shall help you add greater value to the industries such as manufacturing aerospace and the likes with reg regard to career options from the simplest form of generating relationships between elastic constants to drawing the bending moment and shear force diagram the concepts of som will be of great relevance in your career so by the end of the course you will be able to achieve the course outcomes which will in turn help you to achieve some of the 12 program outcomes <laughs>